It's a long way to go from a hamburger like this to one looking like this. This is actually beef being created in a petri dish. A Dutch scientist is using stem cells from cattle muscle tissue to create a burger in a lab. And he told a conference of the American Association for the Advancement of Science he aims to unveil the first one by October. It's still very small pieces and too small to actually cook it right now. So we are now gearing up to uh, produce, let's say, a golf ball size of this stuff and then uh, uh, cook it. Post estimates that first burger will cost $330,000 to make. Behind it all is the search for a more environmentally friendly way to produce meat as the world's population grows. With land at a premium for the animals needed, one scientist at the conference says global meat consumption could rise 60 percent in the next 40 years. This isn't the first lab food to make headlines. Here in the U.S., an effort to produce genetically engineered salmon has hit snags as the Food and Drug Administration considers its safety. Even if it looks the same, tastes the same, and is just as safe, would people really eat beef made in a lab? It's a hard sell for some at New York's Katz's Deli, where fifth-generation owner Jake Dell brings in thousands of pounds of beef every week. Call me traditional, call me old-fashioned. I think meat should come from a cow. It might not be a bad idea. Why? Well, because it would save the earth. That's one way, you know. I could not see my meat coming from a petri dish. <laughs> I need to know that it had a face.